Hello, friends. I'm an early. I'm an early bird. Hi, Mazzy. Hello. Hi, Deb. Who else do we have here waiting? Laura and Samantha. Thrifting Vegas. Hi, guys. And Leanne. Laura. Hello. Hi, friends. Welcome. Welcome. I'm on here just a few minutes early. Hi, Karen. Look at me. I'm standing in, in front of something that's different. I'm going to try standing here in front of this cabinet today. I kind of like being able to set up stuff in this way. Hi, Ann. Hi, Angela. I'm just saying. So I'm going to see how it goes. I, 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 I'm, I don't know yet. We'll see. Hi, Zoe. And April. Um, Emma is, should be here somewhere. I'm, I'm so, oh, there she is. I'm really excited because only one more Wednesday sale when that Emma won't be here. And then after that, she'll be here. I think that's right. I think that's right. Do you, oh, I have not checked my email since this morning. So you, if you sent me an email about anything from yesterday's haul video, I haven't, I haven't, um, even looked at them yet. So. Okay. No, you know what? I just wrapped them up this morning. So I'm going to, I'm going to hopefully get some more invoices done um, before I leave here today. I know Ivy Bell, you're, I, I figured I was just going to kind of wait. I know that um, Randy girl had bought a fairy lamp from me on, on Friday. So I figured I would just go ahead and wait just, so, just in case she gets something else and I can combine shipping for her. Um, but I am working on invoices. I'm now here's a little thing. I wanted to come on just a little bit early to talk about. I'm only, I'm selling 31 items today. I'm trying to make it, hey, tags. I'm trying to make it a little bit easier on myself to where I'm not like spending 10 hours a day shipping. Um, I want to be able to make my sale videos about two hours long and then hopefully get started on shipping um, right away. And then that allows me to free up my Thursdays a little bit more to do a few more things instead of staying here and shipping all day. So I'm going to try this and see how it works. I am selling 31 items today, but I am doing more offer ups today. Um, so there is that. Emma is in the chat. She is the moderator. Emma is the only person that is allowed to put someone in timeout or block someone or this, that, and the other. Um, she is the only person. If you are a moderator, um, I appreciate all your help. Um, obviously, if somebody is being vulgar or, you know, just being obviously vulgar, then anybody that is a moderator can can get rid of those people. Um, but Emma is the only one that I want to be in charge of, you know, doing those things unless it's an obvious thing because it can cause so many problems. Um, and... What else did I want to say? Oh, I'm my sale, you know, yesterday. Hi, Dolores. Hi, Mary. Yes, I I like that tiger. Absolutely. Yep, yep, I agree. Um, so also I wanted to say too, I know that yesterday we did things a little bit different, and we are going to do those in the three-way sales. It's really kind of impossible, or I I'm nervous about doing switching anything else during my solo sales. So my solo sales, I'm going to do it the exact same way that I always have. Um, and uh, But I am going to do less items, but a few more offer ups. Because honestly, let's be honest, some things don't warrant an offer up. You know, some things do and some things don't. So um, there is one thing that I am going to sell that I'm going to offer at a higher offer up. And that is the Tom Sawyer book that I'm selling today. It is a first edition from 1881. And I've done a little bit of research on it since yesterday and found out that it, it's pretty good. So um, if it doesn't sell today, that's fine. But since I already said I was going to sell it, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to purchase it first. I'm selling it for way under what it's worth or I'm offering it for way under what it's worth. So you still might have an opportunity if you are buying to resell that you can still flip it. Which brings me to my next point too. I don't mind if you are a reseller and you want to buy something from me and then you want to turn around and you can sell it for more money, more power to you, girl I, or guy. Do it because that's that's the name of the game. I go to an antique mall and I'm going and buying something from the antique mall. And if I can sell it to resell it, 
I'm obviously going to want to make a profit out of it. So I don't really give two flips if I'm selling it to a reseller or a collector or just someone that kind of likes it. If you like it, whatever you want to do with it after it leaves my hands, that's fine with me. You know, I'm getting what I need to get out of it, and that's all that matters to me. Uh, What else? I thought there was something else I was going to talk about, but maybe not. So we'll see how this goes. Also, hey, Angela. Hey, Auntie Christy. Also, if you have a question, I know that the chat goes very, 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 very fast sometimes. If you have a question, the best way or concern or question concern or anything like that, the best way to get a hold of me is through um, an email. So send me an email. Send me an email, thriftorjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. I do, I try to check my emails every single day, sometimes on the weekends. I kind of like, I kind of let it go, especially if I'm out sourcing or whatever. But send me an email. That's the best way. Thriftorjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. This just says, love you bunches. And it's just a shirt from Old Navy. It's not merch. It's from Old Navy. I also wanted to say too, do we still have some time? Oh, we're almost there. That's why I wanted to come on early so I can get through all this stuff. I also wanted to say as well is in the link down below when this video goes up, I do, I have provided a link to American Bubble Boy. American Bubble Boy, they're not sponsoring this video or anything, but it's a product that I have used for a while. I love it. Um, I reached out to them to see if they could provide me an affiliate link and they were so graciously um, they so graciously accepted. And so um, the uh, link to the American Bubble Boy is down in the description. You, if you are a reseller, you know the panic feeling of when you're shipping something and you're wrapping something up and then you look over and you're like, oh, I don't have any more bubble wrap. I mean, how many of us, have, I have done that more times than I want to now to say. But if you order something from American Bubble Boy before four o'clock, it will be delivered to your door the next day the next day. It's amazing. It's a great product. It's an American company. They have, it's a small company. There's about 30 employees. So if you need bubble wrap, you can go down in the link after this video is over and check out American Bubble Boy and see if it is a fit for you. Okay. I love American Bubble Boy. I know. Mariah, they're building a plant here in Indianapolis. They're having a new distribution center. So we may get our bubble wrap even sooner. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, everything behind me are the things that are going to be sold today. Look at me, I'm just, I'm being like little Jeffrey. I'm being a little baby Jeff Jeff, showing my shelves. Also, by the way, Jeffrey is going to have a pop-up shop on May 15th and 16th in Illinois. I'm going to be there, Barb's going to be there. I think Fat Birds is going to be there. So if you want something to do in May, come to Jeffrey's pop-up shop. And you can, you can buy things in person. Okay, so there's my little plug for that. So let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Emma's going to take over. Yes. Yeah, yeah. now, now you know, again, if, if, if a moderator sees something that needs to be taken care of as far as someone being vulgar, you know, but anything else we'll let Emma take care of. Okay, so and sit back, relax, and enjoy yourselves. Let's go. All right, the first item is an offer up because we're going to have a few more offer ups. Um, and this I've had a lot of, a lot of emails about, and I pay, I did pay up for this, but I couldn't resist it. And it is the Marine Corps puppy dog pillowcase. Look at that. So I am going to start this at $15. I'm going to start the offer up at $15. So, um, it is open here on the side so you can put your pillow in it, but it is in excellent condition. I, I don't think that it's ever been used. It, this is vintage. It is vintage. It is so cute. Here is the back. The back is just plain. It's on a linen type material, but oh my gosh, how awesome is this for Memorial Day coming up? I love it. And the little, the dog's fur is gray. I absolutely love this. I love it so much, this little dog. I don't know what kind of dog this is, but he's kind of like saucy because he's got, he's going to see his sweetheart. He's got, he's got flowers in his hands. All right, I see Kendra Joe at 20. You know what, this is, I have a little bit more space for me to lean over to see my phone. So 
bear with me if I'm like doing this because this is a new angle for me. All right, Jenny is at 25. Remember, if you are out, if you will type in out, that's very, very helpful, especially if you put it in all caps. That is extremely helpful to do it that way. So we can see, I see Michelle Gomez at $26 for the Marine Dog Pillowcase. What's a Marine song? Let's find a Marine song. Over there, over there. Is that Army or Marines? That's probably Army. I probably just insulted a bunch of Marines. I'm so sorry. Okay, I see Michelle is at $31 for the Marine Puppy. Okay, thank you so much, Jenny. Jenny says she is out. Halls of Montezuma. All right. Oh, Kendra Joe, tell him thank you so much for his service. I know. And you and you got to see him recently, too. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. Oh, I look, it's coming, it's coming to me. Okay, so I see, I see some people saying out. I see some Michelle Gomez at $31. I'm going to say last call. Last call for the Marine Puppy pillowcase. We are at $31. $31 going once. $31 going twice. And sold to, oh gosh, I can't remember. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Sold to Michelle Gomez for $31. Hi, Perla. Yeah, yeah. From the shores of Montezuma. I think Mich Emma, Emma was in choir. And I think that she had sung that song in a thing for Memorial Day. Yay, Michelle, I'm so glad that you that he's got it and you're going to be able to give that to him as a gift. He will love it, especially if he likes dogs. All right, so let's go to the next thing. Here we go. And, oh, you know what? I forgot something, something very important. It's sitting right here in front of me. But I have two giveaways that I completely forgot about. So let me show you those. Hi, Stephanie. Let me show you the giveaways. The first one is a Vintage Rescue Squad sticker. You will get the Rescue Squad sticker and this little, uh, I don't know if those are tulips, what kind of flowers those are, but a little doily, little oval doily. I try to pick things that, are, that aren't gonna make a big difference in, as far as shipping goes. And I love this other little thing. The second giveaway is a Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter Stay Weird sticker. Both of these stickers, by the way, are still available for purchase. If you want one, they're just $4 and I can add them to your invoice or I can send it to you in a, on my stamp. The second giveaway is this Betty Lou. There she is. Betty Lou's got a new pair of shoes. Well, she, Betty Lou's on this spoon. Betty Lou spoon. Now, the spoon is a little tarnished there. But this is a really cute little figural spoon. So those are the two things that will be offered in the giveaway. And the way the giveaway works is if you purchase something, all of the numbers will be put back into my bucket. And I'll pick two people. And you guys, those little surprises will come in your packages that you've purchased. So that's just a little way of, of me thanking you for all of your support. Okay. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I'm, I'm going to be naughty and I'm going to say we're going to wait a few more minutes. <laughs> it's my channel. I have the authority to do that, right? I'm going to wait just a few minutes. I don't want to do that as my second thing. Okay? Not as a second thing. Not yet. But this is another offer up. This is okay. Um, this is a little white bird and Misty made a rookie mistake of leaving her price tag on. So bear with Misty. Way to go, Misty. Everybody say it all together. Way to go, Misty. All right, here we have, now this, I, I don't believe is Terra Studios. If it is, it is not marked, but it is this little white art glass bird. She's got a lot of, oh gosh, see, I forgot the name of it again. Way to go, Misty. Okay, you glass people, what is this called? What is this technique called? It, it's like a, it's like an, a white glass over, what is that called? This is clear glass with a white caning overlay. Striations, why can't I remember that? Striations, thank you, my life is antique like 
White and Cara. So it's white. Oh, and I'm going to start this at $18. $18 for the little white bird with styr styrations on it. It's in excellent condition. There's no chips to the tip of his tail or to his beak. Okay, I see Gia at 30. Way to go, Gia, with that power bid. There's no damage on it at all. And honestly, if someone comes in with a power bid and it's just way beyond what you want to pay, if you want to say out, that helps speed things up a little bit. Sean is at 30. No, Elaine is at 35. It did, Thrifty Lou. I got it. You are good, girl. Thank you, Christy. G is at 36. <coughs> I still got this weird cough thing going on. Thank you, Sean. Sean is out. It does speed things up a little bit. And I have to lean over this table. I'm not sure I like that. All right, G is at $36. Nancy is at 37. For the white art glass bird, it is clear glass with the white striations. I'm going to pronounce it wrong. So Nancy's at 37. 37 for the bird. That's pretty and white. G is out. Okay, can you shine? Um, I can. Well, I can shine a black light underneath it. Does that help? I mean, it doesn't glow, but you can at least see the texture. Yeah. So there's the texture. <laughs> there's... I, our insurance is Farm bu bu Bureau, Bureau, I can't say Bureau, that's a word that I can never say, Farm Bureau, all right, we are at, um, Nancy's at $37, I'm going to say last call, Carrie, I'm going to do my best not to try, not to drop, no, it is not hollow, it is a solid piece of glass, it is not hollow, so $37, last call, Rural. Oh, that's another one. I had a problem saying 6th, 6th Street. Nancy's at 37. So $37 going once. $37 going twice. Sold. Well, I'm not going to say sold until Emma puts it in. Now, I can say sold, but until you guys see it, that's what I'm going by. Okay, Emma put stop. So sold to Nancy Smith for $37. Thank you, Nancy. I'm going to try to not say sold until I see Emma's saying it in the thing. I will try my best. Yeah, I was trying to say 6th Street. And I could, it's like 6th Street, 6th Street. I couldn't say it. Anyway. Okay, moving on. Here we go. The next item is, <laughs> are we ready? It's a fairy lamp. We're going to do the fairy lamp early. It is, move this guy, this beautiful blue, now this is blue, blue glass. I am starting this at $50. I'm starting it at $50. So this is the um, Ellie Smith Stars and Bars fairy lamp in the blue this is blue the lag is awful okay all right we'll just do your best there are no chips and cracks or flaws in it starting this at fifty dollars and i did include this if you do not want what i'm about to show you i don't have to send it amazi is at seventy dollars uh kathy is at 75. emma you may have to help me keep up with this because i'm going to say this but um, I don't have to send this middle insert if you do not want it because um, Arnell Carver's at 100 because it will make it weigh a little bit more. But this, all this is, is a glass uh, candle holder. And I like to stick those in here just so if you want, you can still put a candle in there and it won't ruin the glass. You won't have to, you know, clean the wax out. But if you don't want this, just let me know and I will set it aside. But it is in there and it is included if you would like it. But this does weigh. This has some weight to it. I will say that. This is beautiful. I wish I had... You know what? I do. Hang on. Got some matches here. 
I don't know if it's going to show up because of the light, but we will see. Let's see if we can do that. It's probably not even going to show up. There we go. Okay, where are we at? Gia. Okay, RL, RNL Carver was at 150. Yeah, the freezer does, but sometimes people don't want to put things in the freezer. Hey, Stephanie. Okay, so I think, where were we at? We were at RNL Carver was at 150. So now we need, okay, uh, Kathy Scaletta is at 155. We're at $5 increments now, so the next offer up would need to be 160. And I'm going to, RNL Carver's at 175. I'm going to take the fire out because, well, we don't want to catch myself on fire. So I'm going to take the fire out. So 175, RNL Carver. Hey, Michelle. My, 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 Michelle, my bell. Okay, Kathy is at 180. Yeah, I like this. The, the bluer ones, the clearer ones and the amber ones are a little bit more common. These blue ones, the blue ones and the red ones and the green ones are the ones that are the more ones that are a little bit more desirable because they're a lot harder to find. Um, I think it's a lot of the reasons why people just don't want to get rid of them. Okay, Arnell Carver is at 200. It's in excellent condition, no chips, cracks, or flaws. It is blue glass. It is not, um, it's not flash glass. It's actual blue glass. <laughs> you were eating. You can eat. You can, you can eat. I, you know what sounds, and I'm not a salad eater, girl, but a salad sounds good. Michelle always gets these amazing salads. I'm like, I don't have those places around here. All right, I'm going to say, I'm going to start doing, I'm going to say last call. So I think I saw Kathy was out. So Arnell Carver's at $200. Last call, $200 going once. $200 going twice. And I'm waiting on Emma. Emma's going to type it in. Once Emma types it in, then it, that will be it. Hey, Jeffrey, stop. So R and L Carver at two hundred dollars for the blue fairy lamp. It's gorgeous. I love the color. And you let me know when you email me. Just email me and let me know if you want me to not send the insert because I will if you want it. But if you don't, then I won't send it. Oh, I know, but I I could say I need to wait on I when I when I do, I'll do a signal. And then that's when you type it in. Because I want everyone to see it as you see it. Because then they're going to see it. You guys all see it at the same time. Because of the lag. So I'll just go, Emma, and that's your cue. <laughs> all right. Next I have a, just a straight price item. And now all of these things too, I will say, I should have said this in the beginning. All of these things are items that you have picked on Mondays. I go live every Monday at 11 o'clock for you guys to help me pick the things that I'm going to be selling. So everything that I'm selling today are the things that you guys have chosen. And I love doing that because it does give me a really good idea of the things that you really want. So the next thing is this cute little boxer. And we know that he's a boxer because it says that he is. I'm a boxer. He's in excellent condition. How very Liberace of you, Misty. No, no. I feel the spirit of Liberace in me sometimes. But this cute little boxer, um, I think he's made in Japan. He's not marked, but he kind of feels like he is. No chips, cracks, or flaws on him anywhere. Look at that face. I'm a boxer. But he is $16, and he is number 20. Hi, Judith. $16, number 20. For... I'm a boxer, the boxer. There's his little nubbins of a tail. He's got a little nubbins of a tail like Bella does, Michelle. He's a nubbins, nubbins, nubbins. And I like all the little folds on his back. All right, there's either a lag or it's not the boxer's day today. We'll set it aside. And I will stir up my pot to pick the next item. All right, the next item is an offer up. 
I'm going to sell both, both of these readers together as one lot. Um, this one, and I'm going to start them at $15, $15. Um, this one is in a little bit rougher of condition, but if you are a junk journaler, this is perfect for you because you won't feel as bad of, you know, tearing it apart, doing the things that you, you guys do. Look at the inside here. Look, look, there's Jeffrey. See Jeffrey? Look, there's Jeffrey right there with his little top hat on saying, give me all your salt and pepper shakers. That's him as an old man. Oh, look, there's me though too, but someone marked my face out. Oh, Mazzy. Mazzy wants number 20. Is that how long the lag is? Good night, I hope not. So Emma, Mazzy wants the, wait, Mazzy, were you, wait, were you bidding on the books, Mazzy, or were you wanting the boxer? Because the boxer was number 20. So let make sure that I know that. But the books, let's go back to the books. This one, like I said, has a lot of pages that are worn out. Okay, the books. Okay, so we're at, Judith is at 25. Um, oh, there's me. There I am in my house coat. But this has the gingerbread boy, and I lo I love reading the gingerbread be the b -b 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 the gingerbread boy to children. I mean, not the scary one, but like I like the interaction that you can do, and everyone can kind of join in together. But it has a gingerbread boy. There's that mean fox. But some of the pages are a little something in this one. This one, however, is in pristine condition. The binding is very sound. This one is Story Hour Readers, book one. Um, the inside cover is really nice and it has a lot of, there's Humpty Dumpty and some owls. And again, it has a very muted um, color schemes in here. Look at that creepy baby. What are you doing lurking behind that? That is weird. Is that Humpty Dumpty? I don't understand that. Look at that creepiness. Look at that t that uh, bear sticking his tongue out. Anyway, this one is in excellent condition. Now, I did look through these, and there aren't any, any holiday uh, stories in here, so there's no, like, pumpkins or prixies or anything like that, but um, it's still in very nice condition. And, oh, there's me. There's me. That looks just like me when I had dark hair, eating a sandwich. All right, so we are out. Where are we at? Boop, 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 boop. $25, so we're at Judith Wilburn for $25. Last call, you do get both the books in this set. $25 going once. $25 going twice and Emma there's your cue sold to Judith Walburn for $25 for the set all right did that work out good with my did you did you see it people that are going to tune in later are going to be like what is wrong with her why is she doing that but that's why. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I just picked it again. So that was a sign that I am doing the Atomic Starburst. Because I didn't want it to be my second thing. You know, I, I didn't want it to be my second thing. But I have the Atomic Starburst right here. I did put um, a little uh, helper in here. But just to kind of show you, hey, Sugar Bridges. Sugar Britches, did you like my video today? Do you run around with no clothes on? <laughs> okay. Maybe you haven't seen it yet and you're like, what are you talking about? Well, I mentioned you running around with no clothes on. Okay, so the Atomic Starburst. We'll dump that helper out. This is a Franciscan Atomic Starburst, which is iconic very desirable, very, very hard to find. I am going to start this offer up at $45 because that is what I paid for them. I'm gonna start them at what I paid for them so I can at least make my money back. So that's where I'm gonna start. So we're starting them at $45. I will say before you bid, the Sugar Bowl does not have the lid. It's supposed to have a lid and 
there is a chip right there on the inside. So that is there. There does not have its lid. There is a chip, not a crack, but a chip on the inside rim. But other than that, they are in the 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 picture is in pristine condition. It's in excellent condition. So Peggy is at 50. So the Franciscan Atomic Starburst Sugar and Cream Set. Sugar bowl, no lid with a crack, but still an icon iconic, very desirable, very, very hard piece to find because people don't want to give this up. Would you give this up? I would, well, I mean, I am, but I mean, I don't need anything else. Like I have my, I'm fine with all my plastic babies. That's what I'm doing right now are my plastic babies. So I'm cool with my plastic babies. I don't need this. It's not speaking to me. Hey, Doug. Doug is at 65. Again, no lid on the sugar bowl and there is a small chip on the inside. So Peggy is at 70. You do get the set of them. Franciscan Atomic Starburst Sugar and Creamer. And again, I like the little air plant deal in it. I think it looks nice. Doug is at 75. <laughs> well, I, I like to keep some things. Um, like I did buy, all, I'm keeping all those frozen Charlottes right now because I have a shelf full of babies and my other thing that I'm doing right now are, are vintage um, the uranium dialed clocks Peggy is at 80 so I'm do I'm gathering some so I can put them on a shelf that, that I have at the house so those are the kinds of things I like the things that I the things that I like to find that I use in my decor are things that I get really really cheap I, it's weird um, I, those are the things like the little dime store things are the things that I, that I myself really like. Yeah. I like the air plant in it too. And I think it makes it look nice. It looks nice for the display. And this is a faux air plant, you know, so we can just, we can toss it out. We don't have to worry about it. Um, I see Peggy Hall is at $80 and I've seen a lot. Thank you, Doug, for typing it out. I'm going to start doing a last call. Last call for the Atomic Starburst um, Cream and Sugar. Oh, yes. The uranium cl dial clocks. In fact, if, I had, if we had a little bit of time, I'll go and show one to you that I, in marbles. If you watched Michael's video today, you just take your black flashlight and look for marbles, too. A lot of marbles have, are, they, have your, they have radium in them as well. All right, $80 going once. $80 going twice. And let me make sure. <laughs> let me make sure that I got the right name. Yeah. Peggy Hall. Sold to Peggy Hall for $80. Congratulations. These are lovely. Lovely. And she said they're going to match her pillowcases. So that's cool. I like when a plan comes together. All right. Because after I bought them, because I, I paid up for them, and I was very nervous. So, congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Let's go. Well, we sold the fairy lamp and the atomic starboard. Starburst? Starburst. Hi, Patricia. All right. Next, I've got a straight price item, and that is this little redware cat. It's a little black redware cat. And I will say that the cold paint on him is pristine. It's so good. Normally you see these little redware pieces and the cold paint, the yellow and the red paint is very, very scratched off and not very good. He looks like he's seen some things. I kind of think that he would be great to use in a um, Halloween display because there's a little paws up. So you could maybe put something like a little cauldron or something on there. But yeah, he, I think he, he's really cute. He is uh, Redware, made in Japan, no chips or cracks. He is $14 and he's number three. $14, you're buying plane. Are you buying plane tickets to Illinois? Per chance? $14, number three. I see the Eclectic Treasure Hunter. Eclectic Treasure Hunter. Gotcha. That is a fun one. I like how vibrant the collars are still. 
Oh, Mayor, you don't have to put number. You just type in the number. Just, just the number. Okay, close. What are you going to draw? Are you coming around May 15th? Par chance? All right, another offer up. And that is this lovely etched glass uh, and cut glass. Um, well, it's actually cut glass with some, um, uh, gosh, what is that called? Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't think. Um, frosting on it. Good grief. So the, the perfume bottle, it has a, the frosted tip, which is all glass as well. No chips or cracks. There is the bottom. I don't know who made it. There is, we, I'm going to do this as an offer up. I'm starting this at $20 for the beautiful, maybe if I did the light, you can see the, we'll see if that works this time. Uh, yeah, okay, there. Oh, there's a wedding happening. So here we go with the flowers. All right, Leona is at 20 but I love the sound. Let me just, let me put your, like you would, like they, they sold like little funnels and you can funnel your perfume into this beautiful little perfume bottle. I wish that was still a thing. You know, Leona, it, I think Leona is at 23. Yeah, Leona is at 23. Mark is calling me right now. Emma, your dad is calling me right now. He knows what I'm doing right now. He knows. Anyway. $24. Isn't that a fun little thing? That's like classy. You were a classy broad if you did your perfume like this. Maybe you still are. You're more classy over broad than I am because I don't. I just spray my perfume on. A lot of times I don't even know if you can open the, the perfume bottle to pour the liquid out to put it in something else. I haven't really thought about that. Leona is at $26. It has a beautiful floral etching on both sides. <laughs> he is, Jeffrey. He it, it didn't ring for very long, so he probably called me and he was like, oh, I know what time it is. Mare is at uh, 27. Sabrina, you still do your, I need to see. I need to see if I can, because I, the perfume that I wear is Victoria's Secret um, Bombshell. I cannot think. Victoria's Secret Bombshell is the um, the perfume that I wear. It's the only perfume I have. No, it didn't make it glow. I just did it so it would see, you guys would see the pattern maybe a little bit better that's in it. The, the petals of the flower is the frosted part. And it's on both sides, but no, it doesn't glow. Um, thirty dollars. Leona is at thirty dollars. It just helps with the bright light in front of me. It helps for you to be able to see what the pattern is. Take that off. There's the bottom of it. All right, Mare is at thirty-one. Let's all hum a song while we wait. We need like the the Jeopardy song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Okay. When I I'm going to start. Okay, Leona is out. I'm going to start um, doing a uh, when I start saying last call. That is your cue to just put your offer in. Just put it in, and that that's your top dollar. When I start saying. Um, last call. So I'm saying it now. Last call. Last call. We are at $31 and at, for Mayor Hart. So last call. $31 going once. $31 going twice. And waiting on Emma. We're at $31 and, and a cheese it box. No. Emma. And stop. Let's see. 
Okay. We got it. Mayor Hart, $31. Okay. Congratulations, Mayor. That is a pretty bottle. <laughs> Michelle. The lag. Okay, I was going to say, uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to make it any better. We're going to do what we can. All right, I've got silhouettes here. Small little silhouettes. Little Victorian boudoir silhouettes of a man and children with a little marionette. The backing, now this does have the domed glass or the beveled, not the beveled glass, but it's a domed glass. It's a concave glass um, and or convex. I don't know what the difference is, but one of the, it, it raises up and the silhouette is painted on the glass. The background um, was is pink with flowers. So we, you get both of these. Um, and I'm doing it as a straight offer, so there's no offer ups on these. So you get this one with the man and the children with the marionettes. Oh, okay. Now it makes sense. So these children are watching a creepy marionette show. Look at that. That I know that's still some magic wand, but we can pretend that that's a knife. He's getting ready to cut his head off. Anyway, that's where my mind goes. And these children are going to witness that horrid event. And then this man comes over here and he's like, I have a much better show over here for you children. This is a, a, a safer, child-friendly show. So you do get both of these. They do both have their little metal hangers on the back, which make it nice for hanging, obviously. But I just had mine kind of leaned up against the back of the cabinet. So you do get both of these. They're pinks and blues. And the, the frame is kind of a cream color. You do get both of them for $20. That's $10 a piece. Math, I did it. And it's number 26. Twenty dollars $20 for number 26. Oh, that is concave. All right. I see Christine Benson. Christine Benson. Convex flex and concave. Ah, I do good math. Right. See that, Emma? I do good math. I don't. I don't do good math at all. Not at all. <laughs> All right. Oh, Auntie Christie was so, she was just trying to give us all a lesson and she, she missed it. Hey, Yvonne. Eh. Emma's, Emma and Mark are the math people. Jaden and I, we're not math people. Okay. This is another offer up. These are fabulous. They are the big Siamese cats. I am going to start these at $20. You do get both of them. You get both cats. Hi, Sandy. You can, oh, look, Sandy. Here's my sticker. Got my sticker on my bucket. Um, oh, I'm an idiot, and somebody else said that I'll back. I'll go back and pray. Huh? Oh, okay. Anyway, quit reading the chat, Misty. Siamese cats. They are they are in excellent condition. Um, there they are. They're hollow on the inside. Made in Japan. This one is has her eyes closed like, mm, you're so annoying. And he's like, man, but I'm cute. Look at their little tails. You do get both of them. That's a sticker that Misty will take off. Oh, this was a Made in Japan sticker on underneath there. I could put them on my fingers and they could be finger puppets. Hello. No, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. All right, I need to see where we're at. Okay, Kathy is at 40. Kathy Scaletta is at 40. That's a fun name to say, Kathy. Again, I'm going to say, like, I love, like, an Italian name. It's fun to say. Judith Wilburn is at 45 for the Siamese. We are Siamese, if you please. Don't, don't, don't. Um, Kathy is at 50. No chips or cracks, even on their little ears. Their little ears aren't chipped. Thank you, Judith. So, Kathy is at $50. And I am going, okay, I see a lot of outs. I am going to say, West Side! West Side, Gary! I'm going to say, last call. 
Last call. We are at $50. You do get the pair of them. So $50. If you are interested in these, the bid needs to be $55. And now is your time to put that bid in because once I start counting down, they're going to be over. And if you're, if you snooze, you lose. So 50, we're looking for $55. So $50 going once. $50 going twice and $50 and stop. We're sold $50 to Kathy Scaletta. Thank you, Kathy. Those are fun. Look at, look at the way it's shaped. I have another set of Siamese cats that are going to be for sale today. So if you want if you're wanting to sign these cats, today's your day because I do have another one. It's okay, Sabrina. Listen, as long as it's not excessive, that's when it get. That's when it's become. That's when it becomes a problem. But now, yeah. yay, Kathy. Okay, I'm gonna stir up my pot. I got fat birds on here. We're stirring. That sounds horrible. I'm gonna stir the pot. All right, next we have a clear cut glass base. And it's crystal. Do you hear that? Oh, what am I drinking? Actually, I'm not drinking what everybody thinks that I'm drinking today. I'm not drinking Mountain Dew today. I'm drinking Pepsi. Still in the Mountain Dew family. But this is, listen. Is that the sound of crystal? I don't know. I, I'm not going to say that it's crystal, but... It has that nice little tink sound to it, but it is a beautiful cut glass vase. Don't know who made it. There's this, there's a little bit of weight to this too. Look how thick, thick it is. Um, this I think would be nice if for Mother's Day. I am going to be selling a lot of Mother's Day um, lithos and stuff because Mother's Day is just coming up in like, it's on May 9th, guys. Bye, Angela. Mother's Day is on May 9th, which is just around the corner. So, if you buy something for me, you will have it by Mother's Day. I mean, I hope if you live in, the, in another country, I'm not quite sure. But if you live in the U.S., you will have it by Mother's Day. So wouldn't your mother love this crystal vase with some flowers in it? You don't want to put this in that. That's boring. Your mother would laugh at you if you put gave that to her. You need to put some colorful, pretty, beautiful flowers in here. But not a lot because it's small. Just a little. All right. This crystal vase is $16, and it is number eight. Oh, your birthday's on Mother's Day this year, at least. $16, number eight. For the perfect gift for Mother's Day, especially if you have, like, flowers coming. Well, I don't know. Hopefully. Maybe some of you, some of you do have flowers that are coming up. We don't right now. Shannon Mumper. In Indiana, especially with that cold snap that we had, I'm not seeing any flowers coming up. Thank you, Shannon. But if you live in a place that it's warm, you probably have flowers, but it's perfect for um, like cut, fresh cut flowers. Okay. Mm, where did you go? Oh, there you are. Next, I have this little planter here. This is a little dog. Someone said that this was a greyhound, but I don't know. Oh, filled with beef jerky. I like that idea. I, I don't know what dog this is. I want to say it's like an Afghan hound or something. Would you, would you agree? Jeffrey, do you know what kind of dog this is? As we all laugh, he doesn't know. But this is just a little planter. Um, perfect for an air plant. But again, it's a breed specific dog, a kind of an unusual breed specific dog. So I like to buy those because there are people that are like, oh my gosh, I never, I never see an Afghan hound. Um, so this little dog here, there's no chips or cracks on it. It is made in Japan. It is $14 and it's number 14. Borzy. I don't know. I need to Google what that dog is because I think some people had told me in the comments that's what this was. And I still, I still haven't, I still haven't done it. So a Borzy dog is $14 and it's number 14. Borzy. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to, well, it, apparently it's this. 
but I need to like look Google the actual picture of the Borzy dog. I see Shelly Johnson Horta. Gotcha, girl. Shelly Johnson Horta. Thank you, thank you. Bye, Jeannie. Whippets and greyhounds don't have wavy hair. That's what I thought. We wanted to um, adopt a greyhound at one time. But we didn't. Okay, this next thing I have gotten. Actually, I've gotten more messages about this next thing that I'm going to show you over the Atomic Starburst. Because I got quite a few messages about that. This next item, the people that were messaging me about this, they're my people. They are my people because they, as well, appreciate stuff like this. Isn't this great? I got a lot of messages about this. A lot. It is the little devils inside a shoe. And they don't know what to do. They're being very devilish and they're tearing up the shoe. But it says, my sweet home. And then, oh, and I'm starting this at, I'm starting this at $20. Starting it at $20. But it says, my sweet home. And it's got out and in with the little devils. You see their little they're little horns. Now, the cold paint on the Devils is coming off a little bit because that's what red paint or the red coal paint does. On this other side, it says Japan Ethical. Japan Ethical. But it had, oh, and then, no, you can just see the back. I thought there was another Devil. You can just see the back of them. And then it's got a little hole because, so you could put, oh, look at, look at that. Look, you could put a little airplane and you can lay like, even on this side, put like a little succulent or something on that side. But that is so stinking cute. There's a snake in my boots. This is just adorable. I love this. I saw it. I could not get it off of the shelf fast enough. All right. I'm seeing a lot of outs. I'm seeing Cranky Lady Vintage at 50. She's my people. She, she likes this stuff. Oh, no. Danielle D is at 55. My sweet home. You know, because little devils need a little sweet home too, right? They're little pricksy devils. Isn't this cute? So we're at $55. I'm going to put the little air plant, a faux air plant friend back in there. RNL Carver is at $65. Telling you, little pricksies and little devils are very popular. They're just so whimsical, they're so naughty. They have chewed through this naughty boot. Thank you so much, Cranky Lady, for the out. And RNL Carver is at 65. Uh, Vintage AF, which I love that name, is out. All right, so I'm going to say last call. Last call. We're at $65. The next offer would need to be 70. So right now it's time to get your offer in if you are wanting to come in and get it. And I'm going to say going once going twice hi cindy and sold for 65 dollars to r and l carver i love this i just love it last night on the in one of the instagram sales i was going i was bidding higher than i had planned on bidding there was a pink refrigerator I wanted and a pink or a, a pig platter that I wanted. I didn't get it because you know you have a stopping point. We all have a stopping point. I'm like that at an auction too. If I go to an auction, I'm like, no, I'm not going to pay you more than that. And you're sitting there and you're like, well, I really want it. But you know, you have to have your stopping point. Yeah, I love that. I love it. All right. So next I have another uh, straight price for uh, this little red wear, and I put a little friend. Doesn't he look fun? I did. I stayed up till 2.30 in the morning. I did have to tap out of the sale because I, I, I had to finish editing my video. It was just like, get this video done. Because, you know, when you make videos and you edit, you're like, I'm so sick of hearing you. I'm so sick of hearing every word that's coming out of your mouth, Misty. Be quiet. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have said that behind my back. But... You know, you're, you're, you're editing and you're like, oh, be quiet. I'm trying to listen to the sale, but you have to edit. Anyway, 
So this little owl is a redware owl. I'll take my little friend out. Oh, there's a tag on the bottom. Mark actually found this. It does have a tag on the bottom, like a price tag, but it is redware. And you can't see what I paid for it, but you can see it. No chips or cracks. I love how his little wing, he has one little wing and that's the little, his little handle. Isn't he cute? He's got the one little wing. Now, the cold paint around his, this eye is, is, isn't what it used to be. But he is really cute and I do love him with a little air plant in him. He is $14 and he is number five. How do you keep up with Instagram auctions? All you, um, all you have to do, um, Dolores, is when you go to Instagram, you will see, a lot of times people will post when they're having a sale, but you will see if someone is live at that time. It's just like on YouTube, Shannon Mumper. It's just like on YouTube when you go on and you see someone, if you click subscriptions and you see that someone is live, it's the same way, only it's up at the top of the screen. Um, but typically, usually, if you want to go to ISN After Dark, which their, their sales are usually 10 p.m. Eastern time. So they're a late night sale. They're a lot of fun. And um, so make sure that you do attend. They find amazing things, amazing kitschy things. Yes, they do. Stephanie's in here. Stephanie Vintage Freak 32 is in here. She is one of those gals. Oh, I put that in the wrong thing. All right, moving right along. Okay, okay, next I have this. I had to write myself a note because like I said, I'm selling several Mother's, Mother's Day thing. Um, yeah, you do have to be following them. So um, I tell you what, after we go, after this video goes live and, and people can um, uh, type in the comments, Stephanie, if you'll go in and like, but, um, ta not tag, but post links of, of some of the ISN sellers and people can go and they can follow them. That would be great. Follow the hashtag ISN live sales. Yes. And they'll show up in your feed. I know hashtag I'm I, listen, once Emma gets home, I want her to do some sort of explanation on some hashtags and things like that. So yeah, the, the, they, they're very, very similar, but um, they do things just, they do things like what we did yesterday. Um, and that, that, that just, it, it expedites things. So yeah, they're a lot of fun. This guy, I have to take this apart because it's got an extra piece of glass floating around in there. Now this extra piece of glass is just an extra piece of glass. It isn't anything that would, oh, hi June, that would take away from this. But this is a glittered art. It says greetings to mother in a navy blue and all of the flowers and the um, the glitter and all of that is um, in like a gold. And then this frame, I'm going to do this as an offer up because this frame is what makes this to me. Um, I'm going to start this at $20 and it is a art deco frame. Look at the gold. Now this is reverse painted black glass so some of the black on it is a little um it has some spots where it's where it's faded a little bit but it has these gold deco corners on each side now the only issue is it doesn't have a hanger you could hang it you know from a nail but it doesn't have a hanger but and i gotta take you know what maybe i can get yeah there we go there we go I took that extra piece of glass out, but now it's kind of, I will fix this. But the frame is what is the, the important thing on here. But it says, greetings to mother who shares my joys, who cheers when sad, the greatest friend I ever had. Long life to her, there is no other to take the place of my dear mother. So. I didn't know about this. I absolutely love the frame because of the deco and it has the reverse painting. And like I said, some of the reverse painting at the top, um, you know, you could, you could repaint it to make it, um, 
show up again. I wish my daughters were watching. And I will fix the way that this is all wonky on the inside. All right, so I'm starting it at $20. So if there's no interest at 20, here's the deal. I'm gonna wait a few minutes. I'm gonna say last call and then I'm going to, I have another idea. Okay, so now I'm not gonna say I'm gonna to agree to this, but okay, well, there we go. Karen Lay, Karen Lay's at 20. <laughs> hey, Sam or Sarah or both. So we're at $20 last call. The Art Deco reverse painted frame with the, the greetings to mother. So $20 going once. The, the color in the background is navy blue. It's a navy blue with that glittery gold words. So $20 going once, $20 going twice, and this is my cue to, a to, to Amy. This is my cue to Emma to type in sold. Um, Karen Lay, Karen Lay for $20. And Karen, I will fix this to where it's not being wonky on the inside. Thank you so much. All right. Next, we have another mother's mother thing. Okay, this is fun. I love this one too. Like I said, I bought a lot of these because I love these lithographs. Here's what it looks like. This one's just going to be a straight price. But again, it has this really lovely wooden deco frame. There's the lithograph with the flowers. Nice little small. Oh, the number of that, Emma, was mm, number 22. Hi, Pamela. This one says, to my mother, some of us have so very much that we may, wait, some of us have so very much that we may be thankful for that it, that it little behooves us to envy those who may seem to have more. And when I think over my blessings, as so very often I do, I believe that I am most grateful of all for having a mother like you. Isn't that nice? This will be, just, it's a perfect size that you could just give to a, your mom or um, a grandmother. Or I've had a, a lot of people say that they have made like, around this time, they'll do like some sort of a memorial um, display for their mother and then they'll put this in that display but this is $14 and it is number 12 $14 number 12 it's very lightweight it does have glass oh it's $14 number 12 $14 number 12 $14, number 12. I just want to make sure because Katarina, you have in the wrong number. Okay, now you got it. Karina Consong. Oh gosh, Karina. I'm not going to try it. I will butcher it. <laughs> no, Patricia, you have not. I only, no, I don't have a red bird of happiness. I do have a little glass cardinal. Not, not a Terra glass cardinal, but another one. Carrie. Kari. All right. Ooh, I got a planter. This is a really cute one too. This is that little like, American bisque planter with what we think is a sheep. It looks like a dog, but we think it's a sheep because a sheep jumping over a fence. And it's a very shallow planter. So it will be good for um, a faux plant or a succulent really nice quality on this it is made by american bisque it doesn't have any chips cracks or flaws on anywhere it is twenty dollars and it is number 11. uh 
twenty dollars number eleven i see kathy scaletta hi joanne yeah i saw that too carrie i think uh, it was an accident i know that it was an accident um uh yeah pamela it was an accident it was an accident you'll be back or if you if you've accidentally timed her out make sure that you time her back in hi virginia i hope everything is well with you i am well all right oh next i have this one again we're doing lots of mother i i thought buy vintage show and tell i thought I, you know i need to get this mother's things sold because you know it's the ninth mother's day is the ninth we are almost at the end of may can you believe it no we're almost at the we're almost at the end of april if we were almost at the end of may i'd be happy because my birthday is june 1st and i love my birthday love my birthday oh virginia i hope you're okay hi julia so next we have this little swung vase vanity vanity not vase frame um it does not have glass it does not have glass so but oh my gosh look at the deco of that frame i love it it says mother god took the sun okay now this is i want i would like to i want sam to give this to sarah and i want her to deliver a speech like this okay mother god took the sunshine from the skies and made the love light in your eyes from the honeyed flowers he took the dew and made your tears unselfish true upon a rock he built your faith with angel prayers he gave you breath and with his love made yours divine but best of all he made you mine isn't that great <laughs> I think I said it wrong. I think Sam needs to say this, needs to say this to Sarah. But I love this. And it's very textured. It almost looks like it is, you know what? It almost looks like it's hand painted. It is. Okay, that is hand painted. So this is really nice. It, like I said, it doesn't have any, any glass, so it won't be that heavy to to ship and it has the nails in here so you could take this out and put another picture in it if you want to but this is 25 dollars and it's number 23. 25 dollars number 23 for the mother this is wood i see carrie or kari is it kari with like a k or carrie with with this like a C. Hey LaDonna girl. All right. Yeah, I like that. Just a neat thing. It's so pretty. And I think that's hand painted. Car E. Okay. Like with like a toot toot car. Wait, LaDonna got it? Wrong number. Okay, so I am seeing a Okay, it was LaDonna. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Hello, LaDonna, you got it. I'm sorry, Kari. It showed up weird on my end. That's why I love that you guys can all help me because I want, it's going to be what's, what everybody is seeing. So we got it fixed. Sorry, Kari. That kind of rhymed too. I hope I don't have to say that anymore though, Kari. I don't want to mess up anymore. Okay. <clears throat> so this item is rare. It is very rare, and I did some research on it. Okay, she used the wrong number. Okay. Oh, good. Good, LaDonna. This is the 1881 first edition of Tom, so The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. This is the first edition, the first printing of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer in 1881. Okay. Oh, okay. She typed in the wrong number. So here, before I start the, the bidding, I will, I want to let you know about the condition of this book. 
This book is not in the best shape. Well, it, let's just be honest. It's in kind of poor condition as far as the, the cover is loose and the back is loose. So, but when you hold it together, it's complete. The binding is gone, all right? This is a very rare printing of this book. It, and there was one that sold on eBay in not the greatest condition, and it sold for over $150. So it is, it's a rare edition of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Um, it does have some pencil writings on the inside there. It does have all of the pages with some of the black and white lithographs. But some of the pages, I mean, the binding is not there. So some of the pages are, are loose. So I just want you to be very, very sure of what you are getting. I am starting the bidding on this at $50, which I know is a lot. But it is... It's 1881, so this is the 1881 first edition of Tom Sawyer. If there isn't any interest in it, well, nope, there is. Curly's Cupboard is at $50. I was going to say, if there isn't any interest in this, that is okay, because I'll put it on eBay, but um, I'm okay with selling it for $50. You know, I know what I have in it, so I'm okay. If you buy this and you turn around and resell it, I don't have a problem with that at all at all the graphics are really nice i honestly love the cover of it we're at curly's cupboard is at 70. i love gia is at 80. i love the cover on it with the stars um and you can do you can do an, a google or a youtube not a youtube an ebay search and look and see the first edition actually came out in 1876. the research that i have done is the main editions came out in 18 in eight in 1876 but this one is classified as a first edition it is beautiful so but like i said it is there is some condition issues all right so gia is at 95 um there is a part in here too that I thought was really interesting. And when I first saw it, I wish I would have marked it. When I first saw it, I thought someone has written in this, but it's actually part of the story from where um, it says, Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer smear, swears they will keep mum about this and they, and they wish they may drop down dead in their tracks if they ever tell and rot if they ever tell and rot. So that was just the, a, an example of a letter. Okay, so Curly's Cupboard is at $100. But again, I just want to be very clear that the condition of this book is, isn't, I mean, it's, it's not good, it's poor. It is in poor condition, but it, it, it still is a very good and very rare year in addition of this book I'm trying to find a good picture okay so gia is out yeah one sold on ebay for 450 dollars. yeah it it's a good book but i like i said i'm happy for selling it for what it's going for. So I'm going to say last call. Curly's Cupboard is at $100. <laughs> I have a Barnes and Nobles edition. So $100 last call. $100 going once. $100 going twice. And sold to Curly's Cupboard for $100. Thank you so, so much. And I hope, oh, Dolores, you were, you were almost there, girl. You were almost there. Yeah, you can research how to rebound, rebound a book. I don't quite know if that, if it's worth more in this condition or if it would be, if you would hamper the value if it was repaired. I don't quite know. Um, but yeah, this, this is a, this is a good one. And this is what I'm saying 
that don't, because a lot of times we go and we find books at, okay, yeah, I got it. We find books at auctions and yard sales and we kind of like, ugh, you know, books. Now, if you're a book push person, you don't say that. You were like, ooh, books. But it, books, don't count out books in ephemera. Just, just don't. People who deal in books are probably looking at people that are buying, you know, planters and they're like, oh, you're crazy. Books is where it's at. So don't, don't, um, don't think that books aren't great because they are. They really are. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right. I have another Mother's Day. Are we sick of Mother's Day yet? This one's probably my favorite out of all of them. It has this little, well, I know what that was. And say, I don't know what that is, but I do now. This one's my favorite one. I think it's because I like little things. And this is just a little thing. <laughs> She's not a sniper. Listen, I don't have a problem with a sniper. Snipers, sniping, sniping happens. Hey, Amanda, snipe, sniping happens. It does. There's nothing that any of we've all been sniped on things. If we're if we're buying something on eBay, people pay big money to have programs run to be a sniper. It it, it happens. But I love this one. I like the colors in the flowers there. I love the font. To me, this like I don't like cards, and Emma can tell you. I do not want anyone. I, I think cards, like birthday cards and stuff. Don't give me one. I don't like to buy them because you're literally giving someone that they're something that they're going to throw it away. Unless, you know, it's a special card. I have all my cards. I keep them in my junk journal, but all the cards that you guys send me, but I don't like the card. If you want to waste of money, see, and, and I do say that, um, if you're going to give some like something for your mom for Mother's Day, give her something like this instead of a card because it. You know, it's something that she can always have and she can actually hang it on her wall. But this says, my gift to you, my gift to you is a gift of love that will last to the longest day. It won't wear out and it cannot be lost and it cannot be given away. I love the flowers on there. So this is the kind of card that's a great card. Um, and the frame itself is wooden and it's silver and it's got this light blue. So I just thought it was very sweet. This does not have the hanger on the back. It did have one of the little eyelet hooks. So you could put some little eyelet hooks in here to restring it, or it can just be set up in a tiered tray or something like that. So this is $14 and it's number 31. It is cards are future ephemera. That is true. That is true. $14 number 31 for the my gift to you. Basically you're saying my gift to you is me. It's basically what you're saying. Kari, Kari, you got it. Yeah, my gift to you, mother, is me. That's what it's pretty much saying in that card. I will say though too, is I just, I picked up some auction winnings yesterday and I did not realize that this box was as big as it was, but I have a, are there any stamp people out there? I know people will, will junk journal with stamps. I have, I have stamps and they're all like divided by countries. It's, I, I'll, I'll, I'll show. Someone was here. All right, I got a lot of stamps. That's basically what I'm trying to say. All right, I think these are adorable. They're these little chubby cats. They're so, they're so cute. They're made out of, well, I don't know what they're, they're, they're glass. They're like some sort of a porcelain. But you get you get all three of these cats, and we're we're it's a straight price. But I'm just saying I'm not talking about like if you're sending someone a card, and you know like I get cards that's different. But like for like Emma and Mark, the people who live in the home in my home with me to give me a card, I'm probably not going to keep it. Which maybe that sounds bad, but they can just tell me happy birthday or write me a letter, or you know. I don't know. That's the way I feel about wrapping paper, too. You're literally paying money for trash. You're paying money for trash. Anyway, we can go on a whole topic about that. But these little nuggies, 
you get all three of the little cats and there's the bottoms. So you get two brown ones, they're exactly the same. Meow, meow, little fuzzy nuggies. And then this one's my favorite. You get the little black and white nugget. Oh, I love them. You get all three of these little babies. They're so cute. I love little miniature things. They are $16 for all three of them. And it's number 16. 16, oh, I did that again. $16, number 16. Yes, I keep special stuff like that too. But then you think about those Picasso cat. Sometimes like when my, when my husband, after we got married, we, my, my in-laws kept everything too. Love them. I'm blessed with the best in-laws in the world, but they, they kept everything. And like, we got it all. And so it's like, he had, we had little certificates, like, I know my collar words, you know, like little cute little things like that. But Mark's like, what am I, what are we going to do with this stuff? I don't, I don't know what to do with any of it. Do we keep it? Do I, what do we, she's kept it all these years. So then it just goes up in our attic. But I guess if we're thinking of the future, because like I would love to go through somebody else's attic from 50 years ago and look through all of their belongings. So I guess if you think about it that way, maybe it evens it out. You can scan it and create a memory book and use those scanned artwork. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, I have my next offer up is the turtle. This is an art glass turtle. Oh, happy birthday, Catherine. See, we can all just say happy birthday, Catherine, and we don't have to send you a car. Oh, wait, Leanne Watson got that. Let me look. Leanne got that. Leanne got that. Leanne got that. Okay. It's showing up different on my end. But Emma's seeing it that way. You all are seeing it that way. So I am trusting that. Okay, thank you. Hey, Proud American. How? What's up? So Emma will write that down. Sorry, Picasso cat. The lag is something today. The kitschy cat keeps every card I get. You know what? There's something to that. There really is. Oh, go way up. All right. What's so this turtle? It's a sea turtle. It's art glass. We're going to do this as an offer up. I'm going to start this at $25. We found this over the weekend. It is a little sea turtle. It's in excellent condition. There are no chips or cracks on anywhere. It now this is heavy, I'm gonna say. This is this is a heavy guy. He's a big fella, but look at that. His shell. You can see here the bottom of him is clear glass, but then he has all of this fun stuff on the inside of the glass. Do you see that? And then his little flippers are an amber glass. And I think, are you applied? No, it's not applied. It's all stretched. So it's all one piece of glass. None of the, none of the webbing or the head or anything is, is applied. It's all stretched. Don't know how old this is. I, I don't. I can't guarantee. I can't say how old it is. It has a very fine sanded down pontil mark. But it is a little sea turtle. I know. Well, it's applied or it's not applied. It's all one piece. So his head won't fall off. I mean, theoretically, it wouldn't fall off. Okay, I see. Joanne Precious Lavender Buttons is at $43. And Uno is at $45. Lori's at $50. Lolo. Lolo is at $50. It would look neat. Oh, yeah. Dude. Like on Finding Nemo. This way. Woo. They all go swimming off. Dude. That voice for that sea turtle was perfect in that movie, in Finding Nemo. That was the perfect voice to use for that sea turtle. Dude. Because now, like, when you see them, you do, your voice goes there. Uh, Lori is at 60. Dude. For the sea glass turtle. And it does have some, like, little um, air bubbles in there. They're not controlled bubbles. They're actually bubbles from when it was blown. 
can see that in there. Dude, yeah, you were saying that, proud American. <laughs> if you, if, yeah, it's. I think it's against the law because they're protected. Yeah, that whole movie is perfect. I agree. Finding Nemo. The turtles are protected. I think that they're endangered. I think sea turtles, or maybe some species of sea turtles are endangered. So I think that that's why. It's sort of like what they did with the bald eagle. You know, you it, it was it's protected. And so, I mean, I mean, it's only, it's also like the representation, the icon of our country, but. Dude. Oh, you have a prison record now. <laughs> All right, so I see people are out. Lori is at $60. I'm going to say last call. Last call. So $60. Oh, no, Arnell Carver is at $65. So now we are at $65. Th these are just fun to look at, to look like I, I'm looking underneath it. And there's, I don't know. It, it doesn't glow, but I don't know if, if I shine the light on. But do you see how it's kind of textured underneath there, those the black spots? It does not glow. Believe me, I tried, but. Okay, so Lori is at 70. I don't want you to turtle nap them. They need to be with their friends and their family. All right, so Lori is at $70. I'm going to say last call. So $70, oh, RNL Carver, Carver is at 75. So the next offer up would need to be 80. I'm not going to say that it's Murano glass. I don't, I'm not a Murano glass aficionado. Thank you, Lori. I do have a piece of Murano glass with a latticino in it that I paid up for over the weekend. I'm excited to show that to you in a haul. But all right, so I'm seeing out. So Arnell Carver, $75 going once. Hi, Deborah. $75 going twice. And sold to Arnell Carver for $75. Thank you so much. I know Mark found this and he found the Pelican too. I tell you what, Mark, he's great to take with me because, you know, when I'm shopping with my friends, I want to be with them. And Mark is... Mark is just like, he, he will go off in another direction. So he'll like bring me his offerings or he'll send me a picture. So it's like, I got two people shopping for me, but I can still, I can still be with my friends. He's the greatest. He is the greatest. All right. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh, that is, well, I'm glad that they are protected then. It's horrible. People do bad things to black cats around Halloween time too, and I just think that it's horrible. We're getting close to the end, guys. What time is it? Look at us! Yay. Okay, here, now this is a cardinal. This is, well, I don't know that it's a cardinal. Well, yeah, it is. It's a cardinal. But... It is a hanging cardinal. It's our, a little piece of art glass. You do get both of them. It's a finch and a cardinal. That is a cardinal, right? Because of its head. It does have applied feet. Are you applied feet or are you stretched? I think the feet are applied. I think the feet and the beak and the eyes and the dots and everything are all applied. So... You get the finch. Oh, look at his little red bottom. All right, so I'm going to start these at uh, $18. You do get the pair of them. I don't, you could hang them or not. They do sit, they do, I don't know if you can see that, they do sit flat. So you can, you can snip off that cord and just sit, sit them flat. Or you can hang it from the rear view mirror of your car. Just as long as it doesn't flip up and get your windshield. But the two art glass birds. Um, no, the giraffe is still up for grabs. I see Shannon is at 30. Yep. The Indiana State bird is the cardinal. And cardinals are 
very aggressive. Have you ever had a cardinal sit at your rear view mirror, not your rear view mirror, but your side mirror? Like if your car is parked in your driveway, cardinal will come up and like sit on the mirror and look at itself and peck at itself. It's like it's so territorial. Thanks, Leon. Okay, 35. I think I saw Deborah Heimbecker first at 35. Now, Virginia is at 37. They're cute. Look at, I love the little feet on the, I think this might be a finch. Maybe not, but look at this little feet. And Cardinal's the North Carolina state bird, or is that this guy? So Shannon is at 40. Yeah, blue jays are mean. They're, and they're huge. Blue jays are a big bird. Not the big bird, but they are a big bird. Virginia is at 42. They are ornery. Virginia is at 42. They do. I was just going to say that, and They do have a beautiful voice, though. Um, that and turtle doves. I like the sound of a turtle dove. I think it's because, you know, you it just it's like you you would hear it in the summertime when you were a child, and that just kind of brings you back the sounds of a turtle dove. It's that boo, 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 boo. Uh, I'm not going to try to imitate it because you guys will all laugh at me. All right. Um, Virginia was at 50. Okay, Virginia is at 50, and Dolores, no, Deborah said she is out. Oh, I love Cardinals are great in the wintertime, too, because they're so vibrant. You can see them in the snow. All right, I'm going to say last call. Last call for the two little glass birds. Virginia is at 50, so the next offer would be 55. So $50 going once. Yeah, doves are the ground feeders. They, 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 they get the, bird, the seed off the bottom. $50 going twice. And sold to Virginia for $50. Thank you, Virginia. That'll go with your little yellow kitty cat, too, from the other day. Mockingbird keeping you awake at night. <sighs> yeah, that wouldn't be good. Yeah, doves do eat all. They eat all of the seeds. So they kind of clean up things a little bit, too. But, yeah, they're ground feeders. But I like the way that they sound. And your turtle. That's right. And your turtle. All right, next I have the other set of Siamese cats. And I'm going to do these as an offer up because Siamese cats are very popular. People really like them. And these, I'm starting them at $14. They are the little Siamese cat. They've got their blue eyes. Look at him. He's so judgy. He's judging you. And then there's this one. This one has, this one's got crazy eyes. This is a crazy eyed cat. But he's got his little paw up, one paw up, one paw down. They're in excellent condition. Their ears are all in ex excellent condition. No chips or flaws on them. You do get both of them in this offering. I'm starting them at $14. I've lost the chat. There we go. $14 is the starting offer for these Siamese cats. Hey, D. Siamese, Siamese. Uh, my dad's friend, they had a Siamese cat. It was the prettiest cat. They're so pretty, but I think that they're a little mean. Am I wrong? If you have a Siamese cat, are they mean? Are they like temperamental? All right, I see Kathy Scaletta is at $18. Bye, Lori. Thanks for coming. Are they? Okay, Rose is at 20. Kitchy, are they, are they temperamental? Are they very like... They only like their owners. They are moody. They're psychos. <laughs> I love cats just because they just, you know, a cat will look at you and they're just like, you're an idiot. You know, it's like they don't have any qualms by their, their, their face show. They can't hide their expression, their expressions on their face. They're not mean, just goofy. I've lost my bid. Where are we at? 22. Mary H. is at 22. They have a resting cat face. So I have, my best friend has, they have two, um, 
Bengal cats. Hi, Rebecca. Oh, no, Emma's got it. But thank you, sweetie. They are not trying to please everyone. We are. We are Siamese and we don't care what you want. Um, oh, Rosa's at 23. No, no, Kathy's at 25. My best friend has two Bengal cats. They are, they're so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And one of them is a white snow leopard cat. And it's got these bright blue eyes and like this like soft brown fur. And they, to, to, to touch them, they're like touching silk. They're so silky. Mary H is at 27. And, but they have the, Kathy's at 28. They have the most pronounced meow. Um, and they talk like Zora will like, she, you will, you know that she's unhappy. She just talks, talks, talks. But oh, I love them. They're so beautiful. But yeah, I love how cats are just like, you're, you, sir, are an idiot. Now feed me and clean up my poop. You know, they're just like, do all the work for me, peon, because I know that you will. Your Siamese needs anger management class. But the thing about Siamese cats is their, their eyes are just stunning. Okay, Rose is out. Thank you, Rose. Um, Kathy is at 32. I've had two black cats, and they can be hugging your neck, purring, and then I'll let, yeah. Or show their butts, right, D? D, D, Binks likes to show his butt. B, Binks likes to show his butt on camera. <laughs> Mary H is at 35. Mary H is at 35 for the set of Siamese. My cat would yell at me. Yeah, they're very talkative. Hi, Carol. Yeah, I, my cat, Mr. Flufferpants is my cat. And he screams at me in the mornings if he does not, if you are not feeding him his wet food, he gets wet food, a can of wet food in the morning and a can of wet food in the evening. And if you, if he, if you even walk past the area that his food bowl is in, oh, he has a short-term memory loss because you've just fed him 15 minutes ago. And if you walk past that, he's, he, like, he'll just appear. It's like you turn around and there he is sitting, sitting up where his food is. And he's just like, now, like, feed me. I'm like, oh, you just ate. He's like, no, I did it. Yeah, you did. He'll scream at you. Emma knows. All right, so Kathy Scaletta is out. Mary H is at 35. I'm going to say last call. Last call, $35. $35 going once. $35 going twice. Sold to, oh, I did it again, to Mary H. at $35. You've lost your Siamese cat and now own a husky. Oh boy, that's a big difference, Kathy. I'm sorry that you lost your Siamese baby, though. Huskies are a lot of work, aren't they? Don't you have to, thank you, Mary. Don't you have to, like, they got all that fur? <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I love, I love cat things and dogs. I just like anything that is kitschy and fun. This, now this is cool, but it's not really, like it's not something that I would seek out and, and find, but dad got it and he got a, actually no, I take that back. I got this in a box of other things that I picked up from an auction lot. And, but when I showed this, Everybody was like, oh, that, that, that. And I've actually, I had one in a clear one and I sold it. So this one is a black paperweight of the world. Of the world. And, oh gosh, Misty, you should have looked at this before because it says Two's Company. So it's not terribly vintage or anything. Um, but it says Two's Company something glassware. I don't know anything about it. It is black glass. It is black glass. It's not purple. Um, but it has this, um, oh, do, doing it again, this, uh, what is that? 
frosted. Good grief. Frosted. But I don't know. I'm, I, I sold the other one for $16, so I thought I would try this one for $16 if there's any interest in it. And it is of the world. There's the continents and everything on it. Um, it is $16, and it is number six. Might be good to use for Halloween. Leanne, you got it. No? Leanne, the number is six. $16, number six. Ah, Christine Ketty. Oh, Leanne, I'm so sorry, but I have to go by what the numbers, the actual numbers are. I will get yelled at. I will get yelled at by lots of people. I mean, not yelled at. They'll just complain. So I have to, I have to be fair. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, the owl shakers. These were on high demand too. These were, people wanted me to, to peep these up. Thank you, Leanne, for, for understanding. So these are Florida. Florida's known for their owls, right? They're known for their oranges though. And these have owls with oranges on their bellies. Um, this one does not have the stopper and I don't know why there's tape on the bottom of this one. Is it because the stopper won't stay in? No, that one has a stopper. Honestly, you know, we are always showing that this one has a stopper. I, do, I don't think anyone uses, no one uses these. I mean, maybe they do for actual salt and pepper shakers. I just put them on a shelf as like figurines, but, but here they are. You get, obviously you get the book. I'm not going to be like Goodwill and sell them separately. I'm going to sell them together and they're going to be $16 and they're number four, $16 number four for the Florida owl salt and pepper shakers. I like how they have their little feathers tucked behind their back. Yeah, you probably can buy aftermarket stoppers, but I don't know if a lot of people really use these, you know, as like their everyday salt and pepper shakers. All right, Shannon Mumper, you got it. You got it, Shannon. I hope. I, I, and now I have a fear that I'm going to say the wrong people. If I say the wrong person, I know that you guys will let me know. No, have you, Christy? People put money inside of their shakers? I'll have to look at that later. No time for that, but that's, that's kind of a genius thing to do, honestly. If I was going to hide some money, that would be a good place to hide it. Maybe not now. Maybe everybody will know now that it's not a good place to hide it. All right, this is going to be an offer up. This is a Hazel Atlas Uranium Glass Bowl. It does glow, but this, my batteries must be low on this guy. It does glow. Well, it does glow. It's just not showing up very well because of that light there. Um, it is Hazel Atlas, and there is the H and the A there in the center. It does not have any chips or cracks on it anywhere. Let me just double check, because you know we say that. And then lo and behold, there is a crack. I don't want to give the number yet until I double check and make sure. Hey, there is a little rough spot on this one little side. Don't know if it's a crack it, it is, or don't know if it's a chip. It's not um, sharp, so it could just be a flaw in the making process, but it is there. So I want you to be aware of that. Um, I'm starting this at $18. It does glow. It's Hazel Atlas Uranium Glass Fruit Bowl. One little rough spot right there on that one ruffle. All the other ruffles are fine, um, but that is there. So I do want you to be aware of that. But um, Kathy is at $18. It is Hazel Atlas. That is the only possible condition issue is right there. So Kathy is now at 22. This I think would be nice. You can put your bananas in there or apples on your table. You can use your uranium glass. There's such a small amount of uranium in it. It's not going to, unless you're maybe eating the glass, that might affect you, but you can you can drink out of a uranium glass cup. I think it was like 2% or less than 2%. Maybe it's even 0.2% of uranium in it. Hi, Christy. 
So Kathy is at 32. I found money, $21 under the velvet of an old fashioned jewelry box. None, none otherwise. So many people used to put money in books. Oh yeah. I have, I have, I have found money in books, money, letters, flowers. You know, you see a lot of flowers in, in books Two people press flowers. They did press flowers in books. All right. So Gia is out. <laughs> Someone said uranium three times and Christy appears. Okay. And I have Kathy Scaletta at $32. I'm going to say last call for the Hazel Atlas uranium glass bowl. $32 going once. $32 going twice. And sold to Kathy Scaletta for $32. Thank you so much. Hi, Tammy girl. Tammy, I know that you had sent me an email. I haven't even checked my email since yesterday. So I will I will check on that. I think you want me, I, I, I'll check it. I glanced at it and it's okay. And I think it's okay. Oh yeah, Joanne. And also like people, I've heard people when they go to the, like the outlets, they'll check the pockets of jeans and stuff and they'll, they'll find um, money in there. All right. We've got four more items, guys. Four more. Okay. We're at the giraffe. We're at the giraffe. Oh, I'm going to move you kitty cats over. And this is a big planter. This is a big planter. It is nine and a half inches tall and seven and a half inches wide. It has giraffes on it. A mama and a baby. There they are. Now I know that Thrift U is funny because they found one over the um over the weekend, a smaller one. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've got the, the, the bigger one. So this is a little bit smaller, maybe it's about half the size. Um, but this one has the gold on the little nubbins on top of the of the um, giraffes. There are not any chips, cracks, or flaws on this. It is a little dirty. I will clean it up. I'm double checking their legs before I give you an offer price because this is going to be an offer up. All right, it's in excellent condition. I'm starting this at twenty five dollars. Has these beautiful flowers on the back. Look, you can put it this way and say, look, there's two butts. It's two butts. But you can turn it around and be nice and have the two giraffes. Aren't they cute? Look at how that mama, that baby's looking up at its mama and it's like, I love you. And mama's like, go away. Leave me be for five minutes, please. All right, Kathy is at 50. Yep, they ha they found the smaller one. Um, Danielle D is at six. Nope, Gia Schaefer is at 75. This, I believe, is made in Japan. It, it's not marked, but just by the weight of it um, and kind of by the way that it's painted, I can tell that it is made in Japan. Kathy is at 80. And, I mean, it's big enough to where you can put a bouquet of flowers in there. And so if we're talking about Mother's Day, this would be nice, too, if you have someone who really loves giraffes. But, yeah, it's really pretty. Um, oh no. Oh no. Megzi, that's horrible. I'm so sorry. Kathy is at 90. Kathy is at 90. No chips or cracks on it. Not even around the little nubbins of the top of the flowers, which kind of surprises me because that's usually where you'll find a little ding, but I do need, I do need to get it washed. I honestly, I have another, and I'll ask you about it here in a minute. I'll ask you about it. We'll get this done first, and I'll ask you about. All right, so $90. Kathy is at $90, so I'm going to say last call. Last call. $90 going once. $90. Oh, nope. Cranky Lady Vintage is at 100 Cranky Lady is at 100 for the giraffes. Kathy is at 105 Yeah, we are now at $5 increments. So the next offer up would need to be 110 
Cranky Lady is out. Thank you so much for typing it out. That really does help. Kathy is at $105. I'm going to say last call. Last call. Yeah, I know. I about died when I saw this one because you just don't see, you don't see giraffes very often. Giraffes and zebras. So 105 going once. Oh, nope. Amy and Chuck. Amy and Chuck. Amy and Chuck. Hey, Amy and Chuck was around yesterday. Amy and Chuck, 110. Kathy's at 115. Hey, Tammy girl. Yeah, it's very nice. And for it, it's dirty. And I will clean it before I send it to you. But um, it's very nice for this to not have any, any issues on it at all. Kathy is at 125. It has some water staining because someone did actually use it for, you know, a vase or a planter. Kathy is at 125. Amy and Chuck is at 135. Bye, Tigs. Have a good day. Amy's at Amy and Chuck's at 135. Kathy's at 150. Ugh, it's raining. April showers bring May flowers. April showers bring May flowers. I have to tell myself that because I don't like it when it rains. I especially don't like it when it rains when on Fridays when I have to take all my packages because that's no fun. <laughs> my tiger. All right, Kathy is at 150. 150. Okay, out. Thank you so much, Amy and Chuck. 150 going once. Oh, that's true, Zoe. 150 going twice. And sold to Kathy Scaletta for 150. Oh, I shouldn't have said that until Emma types it in. There we go. Hi, Maria. Oh, you know what? My voice echoes when I talk into this thing. Woo! Mayflowers bring bees and pollen and all that fun stuff that nobody likes. My, and I think my, my issue with my, my heart skipping a beat and all that, I think it's allergies. Because I feel very congested. Congratulations, Kathy, and thank you. <laughs> I should have, that's the oldest joke in the book, Pete. What do Mayflowers bring? Pilgrims. Oh, I know, Emma, it's about to be cicada season. Ugh, the cicadas, it's been 15 years and they are ready to come up from the ground and terrorize us all and i hate bugs and i hate bugs with shells like june bugs and crickets and no nope, not a fan not a fan now listen to this apparently there is a whole interesting podcast on the life of us of the cicadas and my husband has listened to it and he came home and he told me all kinds of things about the cicadas but there, it's, he says it's very interesting, if you like that sort of thing. I don't, but I was like, oh, yeah, that's great. That would not interest me one bit, but thanks. Um, I just found out grub worms turn into... Ugh, grub worms turn into cicada, or turn into June bugs. Well, that makes them even more disgusting. I don't mind bees either. I was buffering there for a minute in my back. I don't want to be surrounded by bees. Like, I don't want to be stung by bees. But I'm all for saving the bees. I just want to make sure that I'm not buffering before I start this next item because it said that I was reconnecting. So let me know that you see me before I continue. Do you see me? Hello? Hello? Do you see me? This year, supposed to need our snow shovels to rid them from our walkways. Wow. Virginia. That's the thing of nightmares. Okay, now I'm not seeing the chat. So let me... Uh, live chat. There we go. I wasn't seeing you. You're probably like, we see you, you idiot. Stop. Keep going. But I, your, your chat was not on. Okay, now we're good. Well, thank you, Maria. 
Next, I have this Jim Shore bird. Now, if this isn't a good idea for Mother's Day, I don't know what is, but it's gorgeous. Look at the pink. Look at this little pink breast. Look at the cute little pink breast. And that green and purple. Um, this is Jim Shore, and it is, now I know this is not vintage, but still, I couldn't resist buying it, but I got it at an estate sale. Um, it's Jim Shore, bright and beautiful. It's 2016, so it is not vintage, but it's it's in excellent condition. It has a little barcode there on the bottom, but it's cute, and it's Jim Shore. It's great. It's $25. Perfect for a Mother's Day gift. $25, and it's number two. It's life size. It's a life size bird. Will you eat all of the June bucks? Do birds eat the June bucks? $25, number two. Gosh, am I? I'm going to have to do this the whole time. All right. I see. Ooh, you are popular, fella. All right. I see Gia Schaefer. I hope I'm right. That's what I see on my end. So let me know if I'm right. I'm going to have to like flip back and forth to this. But I see Gia Schaefer for number two. Number two. And look, see, you have your little stack of books here. So you can put your little bird. You can add like a little perfume bottle next to it. I love to use books. They're so cool. See, my chat's going to be all messed up. Okay. All right. Everyone sees that. Okay. Two more things, friends. Just two. Two more. And they're both offer-ups, by the way. They are both offer-ups. The first thing is this lot of these booklet postcards. You'll get all of these postcards in this lot. You're going to have to bear with me because my chat is doing some weird stuff. So I'm going to have to flip back and forth. But you will get all of these. I am going to start this at $15. I'm going to show them to you. You get Northwestern Ohio. This is the best part, I think. Great for display. When you open up, now these are postcard lot, like postcard booklets. And then you open it up and it has, you know, more, more pictures in it. See? Ooh. Colorful pictures. You can you know, tear them off and use them in a display. So you get Ohio, Kansas City. We're going to Kansas City. Oh, this one has a letter in it. Dear Jane, I sent a folder. I hope this is a different one. I hope you're all fine. Having a fine time here. Hope to see you all soon. We'll head out of Riley tomorrow. But again, there's more postcards in there. Ooh, that's a neat one. So you get Kansas City. You get um, Arlington, Virginia. Another postcard book. You get Oakland, Berkeley, Alabama. And East Bay City metropolitan area. Again, these are all booklets. You get Great Onyx Cave, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky. And the last one is Dallas, Texas. Oh, I love that. Look at how deco that is. Ah, oh, I love that. Dallas, Texas. Dallas Skyline from Heinz Boulevard. Look at those old cars. Oh, this one has a letter too. The postmark on this is 1947. So they're all from the 40s. Let's see. Cool. Oh, hi, Katie. Okay, the, I'm starting these at $15. But you're going to have to bear with me too because my chat. Oh, bye, Christy. My chat is just messed up. I think I see Shannon at 20. But I could be wrong, so bear with me. Okay, so Catherine is at 22. So we have Dallas. I love that. Great Onyx Cave, Kentucky. Of Oakland, Berkeley, Alabama. Arlington, Virginia. Kansas City. And Ohio. I love that when they do the words with the 
the seams on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep flipping back and forth. Okay, so I see Pete's repeats at $25. For all one, two, three, four, five, no wait, one, count Misty, one, two, three, four, five, six. I thought I put these in lots of six. So you all six of them. All right, so Pete's at $25. I'm going to say last call, last call, $25. Oh, nope, Catherine's at 26. Catherine is at 26. 26. Maybe I should do a countdown. 10. 9. Nope, Pete's at 30. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Emma said stop. Pete, you're at 30. You got it. Emma's like, stop, stop. Just quit. Stop. You got it, Pete, at $30. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we're on our last thing. I think I know what it is. Should be the only thing that's left on the shelf that we haven't sold is the clear glass deer. Clear glass deer. It does not glow. Wouldn't it be great if it did? Boy, that'd be nice, but it doesn't. It's a long neck deer. It's in excellent condition. It does not have any chips or cracks on it anywhere. Um, it has, the head is applied. The legs are stretched. I think the head is, yeah, the head's applied. The leg is stretched and the tail is stretched glass. Um, I'm starting him at $20. And you're going to, again, my chat is, oh yeah, and I have the giveaways too, right? So the, we're starting the clear glass deer, long neck deer, stretch glass, at $20. Look at how he's just like, hello. Look at his eyeballs. $20 is the starting offer. And I'm seeing... Oh, those were sold yesterday. The, the planters with the cats on them, those were sold yesterday in yesterday's live sale. Betty is at 25 I think. Yes, Betty is at 25 I have to keep check going back and forth between live chat and top chat because my chat's messed up. So bear with me if I get something wrong. Okay, um, Maggie, ooh, Maggie, Michigan. Maggie, Michigan, you are at $26. Maggie, Michigan is at $26. Yeah. Yeah, thumbs up, please, guys. It does help. Leona is at $28. Uh, yeah, the giveaway will be next. The giveaway is next. Um, Leona is at 28. Maggie is at 30. Hello. He's got eyes on the side of his head. He's kind of kind of goofy looking, to be honest. But you know, I kind of like that about you, fella. I like that you goofy. Okay, Leona is out. Deborah is at 31. Oh, you did, Julie? Yeah, I sold them at the same time. It was a little confusing because I sold them. There's a gray one and a brown one. All right, so I'm going to say last call. Deborah is at $31. Thank you, Leona and Mary, for typing in out. It's very, very helpful. Um, oh, I'm going to talk about the baby sailors in just a second. So Deborah is at $31. $31 going once. 
$31 going twice. Let me refresh my thing. Sold. Ooh, sold to Amy and Chuck. Amy and Chuck got right in there. Amy and Chuck got them for $32. Got the deer for $32. Um, the baby salt and pepper shakers. Thank you, Amy and Chuck, by the way. Um, now let me go get them and I will explain what happened. My dad yells at me all of the time for doing this because I do. I, I, I go, 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 go. Like I'm, I'm, I, I can carry 15 things and I can go fast and I can go, 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 go. Misty, quit carrying so many things. You're going to drop something. I got it. I got it. Well, I dropped something yesterday and I dropped one of the babies. But the, and the other one's fine because the other one didn't drop. Let me. But the little, I can glue it. I can fix it. I can fix it and you won't even be able to tell. Let me get the other one so you can see what they will look like. But it will have a repair. So what I'm going to do, see, there's the repair. Aren't they cute for Memorial Day? Little babies. Um, I'm going to repair these. Now these, I've never seen these before, so I'm still going to keep a decent price on them. I'm going, I will sell them for $20. I will repair this and it will be repaired very well. Um, so what I'm going to do is the first person that will email me that they are interested in, I will put the very first person that says they're interested in it, even with the damage, then I will sell it to them for $20 plus shipping. Super cute little babies, little Navy babies with the anchor. Made in Japan. They're made out of bisque. But I dropped this guy, but I will fix him. So I thought I would do that. The other thing I wanted to ask you too before I do the, the um before I do the giveaway is um I have a peacock planter that has a boo-boo on it that I repaired. Um, I actually, I probably will post a picture of it on Instagram. Um, and I might see if somebody might be interested in it. I, it, I've repaired it. It, it. I bought it broken, but it was amazing. So I bought it broken knowing that I could repair it. So I'll post, probably post a picture of it on Instagram. Um, my chat is just, blah, 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 blah. um, okay. So let's do the giveaway. All right. I'm going to put all the numbers back in. I'm just like, what did I do with the peacock? It was like if he was right here, I'd just show him to you now. But I don't know where he is. He's he's put he's been put somewhere. But he's been repaired. All right. Because sometimes you just see something, you're like, I don't care if it's broken. I love it. Like I would still buy those if they were broken. Because they're so cute. All right, the first winner of the Vintage Rescue Squad. And again, you can still go and buy these t-shirts. I did add some V-necks in different designs. V-necks, tank tops, child size to my merch. And Emma's going to be working on some more merch. But you'll get a Vintage Rescue Squad sticker and the doily as a giveaway. And it's the person that won number 26. The silhouettes. The person that won number 26, these silhouettes. You won the uh, Vintage Rescue Squad sticker and doily. I got to refresh this chat. Christine Benson. You got that one. The second one is a uh, Stay Weird Thrift or Junker Vintage Hunter sticker and the Betty Lou spoon figural spoon that person is the person that won number eight which is the clear crystal vase the person that won number eight the clear crystal vase also won the sticker and the spoon we'll just put that in there to get and shannon mumper you got it now before we go I got one thing that didn't sell and we'll see if anybody's interested in it. And that is this, this boxer. 
This boxer did not sell. Somebody buy me and take me home. It's a boxer. Great condition. It says, says boxer around his neck. He is $16. Let me refresh my chat there. He is $16. And he's number 20. $16. Number 20 for the boxer. Oh, thank you, Virginia. I was actually up till 2.30 this morning. Okay, I see Leanne Watson. Leanne Watson, you got 16, number 16 for $20. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so let me know. It's three o'clock. We did this, well, we're a little over two hours, but it was my goal to do it in two hours. So... I like doing the 30 things. Um, it, it saves everybody a little bit of time. Um, and you guys help me pick things. So you're cur I'm curating the things that you have picked. Um, so I really appreciate that you guys came. And um, I hope that you will come next week. I have these sales every Wednesday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Let me know if you liked it this way or if you think I should go back to the, to the other side of the room. Uh, let me know in the comments. Michelle Comfy Cozy Living has a sale tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And we actually, we also do have our uh, Three's Company sales every third, no, every Wednesday at one o'clock. This coming Wednesday will be on Michelle's channel. So make sure that you are subscribed to her. And this was fun. So yeah, I, I, I like this format. I think that it's it, it moves quick. The only thing I'm going to say is um, we're just trying to figure out a way to make the offer ups go a little bit quicker. Um... And I think having somewhat of a countdown does help as far as the lag goes. So we're, we're working with it. So I appreciate you guys all so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Oh, and I'll be sending, I'll be working on invoices tomorrow, maybe today because we're done early. I can maybe get started today, but you'll definitely get an, a um, message from me tomorrow. I do get my second COVID shot on Friday morning and I got the Moderna. So I don't know how I'm going to be feeling over the weekend. Um, so if something comes up and something happens, I will let you know. But thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.